What is good, Kickin' Bass Gang? It's your boy Morgan from FOMO, and today we're doing a little Christmas cookout. Sounds a little something like this. All my motherfuckers get down, get down. When you hear the fucking sound, get down. Get down, down, down. All right, first things first, I like to start with the vocal. So this is what it sounds like on its own. All my motherfuckers get down, get down. When you hear the fucking sound, sound of the underground. So that's my voice. Somehow it made it sound good, but <laughs> the gist of it is getting a good take is super important. So I do like 10 to 20 takes just to make sure it sounds good. And then for the processing, we just have RC Retro Color, which just makes it sound like kind of old school. So all my motherfuckers get down, get down. All my motherfuckers get all my mother. All my motherfuckers get down, get down. So after that, we're just cutting out the lows because we don't need them. And then delay, which we flip on later in the track. Get down, 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 down. Motherfuckers. Below that, we have the deep resample. Down to the underground. So for this one, I just pitched it down about an octave. And then where it says ground, I pitched it down like a tape stop effect. So it goes down to the underground. Like drags into the drop, drags you into that shit, dude. So once I have the vocal, I kind of just line it up before the drop right here and then I'll just play it into the groove generator and if you want to check that out it's available in the description or at the kick-bass.store and the way it works is it generates grooves my dudes <laughs> so I'll just sit there and listen to the pre-drop going into the drop and let the groove generator kind of give me some inspiration when you hear the fucking sound of the underground we could just hit random. When you hear the fucking sound of the underground. So it gives you a pretty good starting spot every time. When you hear the fucking sound of the underground. And then once you get something you like with this, just solo it and then open up a new audio track, hit resample, record, and then you just gotta solo like the kick first, boom. Then solo the clap, then the open hat, and then the bass line. And then you have everything separated out so you can mess with it. So I started with the kick and the bass, and this is what I ended up with. Kick, pretty much nothing on it besides this everything thick OTT preset that I made. And uh, we don't got to get too much into that, but it makes everything thick, dude. <laughs> then we got the bass. The serum patch is just one of the kick and bass presets. Just punch. And the main thing with this preset is we have LFO1 mapped to the course pitch, which just gives it the punch in the beginning. And then after that, we just have soft sign saturator just to give it some beef. Then we have Saturn 2 on the hip hop puncher preset. And this is just giving it more mids. I just dragged up this band right here. So without it. So it really just gives it the presence in the mix. Then we have bass punch and parallel, which is just an Ableton preset. Another saturator just to give it a little bit more sauce. And then a glue compressor just to make sure it's not clipping. So if you turn on the soft clip, it'll just make sure it's not clipping. So together we got. All right, let's check out the percussion group here. So first off, we just have the clap that we exported from the groove generator. Then an open hat on every upbeat from the groove generator. Below that, we have another hat from the kick and bass sample pack with a Haas effect on it. And this just makes it super wide. So it like bounces from your left ear to the right ear. And then we have another hat below that just to add some transient. Below that, we have a top loop from the kick and bass sample pack. And then I pitched it down three using beats mode and then pulled down the transients a little bit just to give it a more tighter feel. The reason why I pitched it down is to just like make it fit more in the mix. So you could just listen back and forth and see what works for you. Below that, we got a ride loop on just on the second part of the drop. Then we got this build snare for the buildup. 
Got a couple fills from the kick and bass pack as well. Got a snare. And these just go at the last eight bars of the drop. Just add some tension. And then the last thing for the percussion is gonna be this snare. And then the big thing with this snare is I just delayed all the notes a 64th just to give it some more swing. So if we check that out. And then on top of that, I don't know if you know this, but if you go random pan in the sampler, it'll randomly pan it left and right every note. So it just adds a little bit of like humanistic feel to it. Let's check out the synths here. So the first one, just a preset kick and bass FM FM. And it's kind of just adding like a downward motion to the start of the drop. So this envelope two just goes on the filter. And that's what's giving it that tone over time. For the post-processing, we have this EQ8, which is emphasizing this harmonic right here, so without it. So we're kind of just blowing that up just to give it some presence. Then we have an EQ8 just to boost the mids. Erosion on wide noise with just a little bit amount just to give it some more air in the top end. And then to add variation, the second time it plays, we have another EQ8 turning on, and then the frequency goes from high to low just to give it some more emphasis. Let's add some sauce in there. Then we got soft sign just to boost it a little bit. Serum effects, just a little bit of hyper and dimension for stereo width. And then another soft clipper just to make sure it's not clipping and some motion with the LFO tool. Next one's gonna be the Wombus 2. So for this one, it's just the same patch, but I did another thing with the EQ. So it has another big hump here, and we automate the frequency as well, just to give it some more emphasis. And then the second one. It's all about change over time, dudes. All right, below that, we have the LFO Wombus, which sounds like this. So this is just the same as the other Wombus, but I made it like a plucky sound with the envelope instead of a drawn out sound. And then to give it that roll effect, we have an arpeggiator turned on for the phrase, and then the free rate is just going down over time. And then on the B phrase, we just have one note hitting with a reverb throw going up. And the reverb thrower is just part of the kick and bass group channel strip rack. So you just have to automate it up right here. Just add some cohesiveness to the B phrase. <laughs> After that, we have a couple sounds just to lead into the next phrase of the drop. So the noise splash on the dr on the downbeat just like adds like a stopping motion to the mix. Then we have this zap shot from the kick and bass pack that opens up the mix before the phrase starts. And underneath that we have this effects blaster laser. Key thing with this is just the LFO on the course pitch to give it like the zapping sound. And this is just happening in the space that felt right in the phrase here. The final sounds in the synth group are going to be in the turnaround at the end of the drop. And then these synth shots are just emphasized by the kick. So here we just have the noise happening again. And then these synth one shots. And it's just root note and then one up leading into the root note again. And we have a reverse reverb going into that. For the effects group, we have this noise preset. So in this preset, everything is controlled by the one knob. 
So whenever you want to raise the energy, you just automate the knob up. And whenever you want to lower the energy, you want to automate it down. So if we listen right here. On top of that, we have the auto pan throwing it from ear to ear. So if we listen in the mix. And then we have it doing the same thing in the buildup just over a longer period of time. Lastly, for the master, I like to keep it simple. So we just have a limiter, literally nothing happening besides cutting off the top. And then it drops 2 dB right before the drop. So just to add some impact. All my motherfuckers get down, get down. When you hear the fucking sound, get down. Then we have a little bit of washout using the kick and bass channel strip just to give it some air out before the drop hits. All my motherfuckers get down, get down. And that's all there is to it for this one. If you guys want to check out the kick and bass pack or the groove generator, links in the description. Drop a comment and let me know what other videos you guys want because we're going to be more frequent on here. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.